Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Lexi, and today we are finishing season two of The Boys, episode eight, What I Know. But first, before we jump into last week's episode recap, there's something I gotta do. I saw it in my comments, someone commented this, and it was the funniest thing, and you know what? I'm doing it. Ta-da! Look what I got. Let's crack this baby open. That was the best pop opening thing I think I've ever done. That was very animated. So this is actually pretty crazy. I've never had a Fresca um, until I bought, like, I think it's like a six pack in there. Uh, tried it out a couple days ago and I was like, what? I was thinking this was gonna taste like a LaCroix. I'm a person who likes sparkling water, so I like LaCroix, I like bubblies, I like that kind of stuff. So that's what I thought going into this, sparkling soda water. Fresca, it's actually pretty bomb, okay? So if you're planning to start a cult and you want people to join, honestly, not a bad tactic right here. Starting with the Fresca. <laughs> totally joke, so don't join a cult. That's not very good for your mental health at all. Um, I'm gonna drink it with a straw though, but yeah. I mean, th these are pretty good actually, so, and you guys are making me try new things. So it tastes like a, tastes very similar to like a squirt cause it's like citrus, it's like citrusy, but it's grapefruit. I got the grapefruit citrus kind. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, all right, let's focus. Back to, let's talk about actually, let's talk about episode seven, recap that really quick. Um, just got a few bullet points down. I skimmed through again, make sure I didn't miss anything that I think will be super important in this episode, but who knows? Maybe I missed something really big and you need to remind me. <laughs> so first, like the beginning scenes that we see in last week's, or last, the last episode, uh, we were actually following around just like a normal citizen and we're seeing the influence that Stormfront and also Homelander, but mostly Stormfront's ability to influence society and just normal people uh, going through their day to day. That's not a part of like the the characters that we know and that we're following. And we're just kind of, we're seeing like, the, the irony is just huge. Obviously they, they're, they're making like obvious kind of like this Republican right wing type of uh, media campaign that we, we know in America, like in the US, especially when Trump was running for office um, and that sort of thing. So we see that a lot. <laughs> they're, they're just making a lot of par like very obvious par parallels that like Stormfront and Homelander is supposed to like represent the Republican party of America. In, in our world. Like if we look a little bit deeper on what's going on here, it's it's just so, showing us like the influence of like what these soups actually have that can ultimately make citizens act out when they never really would have in the first place um, to the point where a normal guy feels obligated and feels like he has the right to take another person's life because he like strongly believes in, in the agenda that they're like feeding him through the media. And um, that's the kind of narrative that we see in the beginning here. Also, we see Butcher and Mallory teaming up with, with one of the congresswomen that we see, I can't remember her name, but she's, she's a congresswoman that is very outwardly very outspoken about about what the soups are doing here and she's never really been a fan of them <laughs> so she's kind of teamed up with butcher and mallory to take these people down and she has a lot of influence so they have a lot of backup that sort of thing so that was really cool and butcher and mallory both approach i think his name is dr vogelbaum uh the one that Homelander paralyzed <laughs> in the end trying to get information out of him um in, in season one but Mallory couldn't get through to him because she can relate to the guy a lot about family, family values. So her approaching him didn't work, but Butcher is a little bit different. <laughs> he came in there, guns blazing. He's like, I'll kill your whole family if you don't do this. <laughs> you care about your family? Well, I'm gonna use that against you. And um, in the end, Vogelbaum agreed to help Butcher uh, because his family was threatened. During this, uh, Huey was tasked to watch Lamplighter, <laughs> like babysit him basically. They're just watching a bunch of pornos together until I think, I don't remember how Huey found out that Starlight got 
kidnapped from Vought and is like being detained at the moment. And like this, I think he got a phone call from someone, I believe, but I can't remember who, but he, she's basically trapped in this like soup prison and she can't use her powers. Uh, weird green prison, I guess. And Huey and Lamplighter set out to Vought to go rescue her at headquarters. Uh, unfortunately, Lamplighter had an, a different plan and decided to light himself on fire uh, and kill himself there, or unalive himself. I'm not sure if I can say that on YouTube, but unalived himself there. And then Huey was able to find Starlight and his mom and rescue her with the help of Maeve. Maeve also swooped in and and, and helped her. It seems like she's really teetering the this idea of going rogue and also still kind of afraid of Homelander. So we'll just have to see where that leads. She had a, a couple scenes, or she had a scene with her ex-girlfriend. I don't really know what they are right now, but it's just a lot happening with her in a relationship right now. But it's like her eyes have been open for a while to, to like what she needs to do. It's just like taking that leap of faith to do it, it, it seems like, and, and do the right thing. So hopefully Maeve comes around and kind of becomes what Starlight is. Anyways, um, they make it out. Huey, or Huey, Starlight, and her mom end up with the boys, so they're back, and um, so is Butcher. Before we get into that, there's something that happens that's pretty significant, and it's Stormfront is still like has a like a deep like a hole where her heart is for her daughter that passed away, and she's longing to you know have motherhood again. And Homelander takes that and decides to steal his son away from Becca so that he can be raised under Stormfront and Homelander, I guess. So they have Becca's son captive. I hope Becca actively seeks out Butcher now to figure out all of that stuff. I, that's what I'm hoping. Anyways, that would be really cool. Other than that, we see the deep and A-Train side story. I think <laughs> A-Train's like still like not really on board with this weird cult that the deep is a part of, but <laughs> the deep is in deep with this cult, let's just say that. But maybe he'll start to wake up too and, and see like, what is this all about? But it's really weird that Eagle made a 180 so quick and now is against like that group because it, he's actively saying that it didn't help him. Um, so that was, that was interesting, but their little side story, don't know how it's going to connect to anything, but <laughs> whatever. Okay. So at the end of the episode, uh, now we're at the end of the episode and Congress, uh, is holding a trial against Vought, I believe, um, about Compound V and about, uh, other things that are probably being aired out that is like really shitty that both Vought and probably Vought's covering up and then their soups are doing. Dr. Vogelbaum, I think was convinced by... Butcher to testify and kind of also air out a lot of like secrets that he knew. But before he got the chance to, one of the congressmen's heads blew up, Volgabom's head blew up, a bunch of other people in the audience's heads blew up. Uh, it didn't look like the congresswoman's that we've seen quite a bit of that is working with Mallory and them. I don't think her head blew up. Uh, but she was like really scared that it was happening. She like she was in the back against the wall. I was too. I was like, uh, uh, it's it, was, it went out with a bang, literally. And it was very similar to the the head of the CIA woman's head blew up in the beginning of season two. So it was very reminiscent to that, which means it it's not the secret that I thought it was at first. I thought it was about Homelander's little escapade, like creating t soup terrorists. But it seems like there's something else happening. And the only person we don't see in that Congress room is Edgar, the CEO of Ott. And that means it has to be something else that he's planning, probably with Stormfront. Um, so I want to know like her involvement with all of this. But yeah, there's something up Edgar's sleeve. And I think, I mean, of course, when you're like doing so many crazy that you're trying to hide from the public, I mean, you really have to start planning out like, well, what happens if those secrets start to get revealed? What backup plan do we have? So I'm interesting. I'm interested to see more information on that. So my theory is that there's just something bigger than like Stormfront's plan that Edgar is planning. I'm interested to see what the finale is going to tell us about all that. Will we get answers? I don't know. Will we probably get more cliffhangers than answers? Probably so. Let's jump into the season uh, season two's finale. 
what I know. But before we do, make sure to give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. And if you wanna watch this video full length unedited, uh, as well as early access to more of the boys' reactions, my Patreon link is in the description below, tiers two and three. All right, and without further ado, let's jump into it. There's a super villain on your school campus. You hear the calls of distress, you witness a violent display of superpowers. Ooh, wow, this is crazy. This is literally, what are they called? Um, public service announcement, PSA? Yeah. Follow the law. Lock all doors and windows. <laughs> Wait, we're here. Dude, that is just so scary. Oh my God. Well, I can't go to this thing without a flag pin. Bob, before he makes any decisions, just let me talk to him. One, the president doesn't like you. He used the word standoffish. <laughs> and authorizing compound V for use by law enforcement and first responders. Doctor, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I wish I were. There was no terrorist. It was bought. It's a fucking coup. A bunch of their guys died yep. too. To cover their own tracks. Yep. For the record, I agree with you. But you've got no proof. Folks are scared. If you could get Jesus Christ himself homelander in front of a camera sure i really am sorry homelander in front of a camera there ain't no way is that starlight oh no that's becca oh they're they're searching for her <gasps> why oh is she just escaping so that's why they're looking for her dude let's go becca how can she get in contact with butcher the anxious boy really with the moist handshake mom okay. <laughs> You kill these soups, then Voss just gonna make a thousand more. Yeah, and we're gonna top those cunts too. Great. So that's settled. We're just super villains now, huh? I ought to attack the country here. We fuck them all. Oh, that was a sick line. <laughs> Escape convicts don't have a ton of credibility. Maybe I know someone who does. Cre who? Give us the day. Oh. See you later. I saw that smirk, Huey. So far, no terrorist group has claimed responsibility. Right, oh my so god. You didn't do this. I wish I'd killed Vogelbaum, but no, it wasn't me. And Had to be no Edgar. Super villains on American soil. No, I hope his last name's Edgar. I've been I saying mean, his name a lot. <laughs> it's Edgar. Ah, <laughs> yes! Okay, I was. I mean, there we go. Much too late. You are not 57 years old. So, come on, why is it always, <laughs> always Billy Joel? I'm 57. <laughs> it was just the music in my house growing up. You know, I did some somersaults, so you may be right that we're. Pretty grueling right. Oh, you're maybe wrong. I think that's how that one goes. I mean, after the way that I treated you, you had every reason to give up on me. So why didn't you? I just... Very ominous Billy Joel song to pick at the moment. That's when. <laughs> Only the good die young. That could be foreshadowing, but I'm gonna hope and pray that it's not and just ignore it. This is the guy? Hi, <laughs> oh, Hughes. That shit like dry firewood. Oh my god. I need you to testify. Testify? What if her head's get head gets blown up? Against Vought, against Homelander, Stormfront, everything. You're our last chance. Pass. Look, I get that it's dangerous. It's suicide. Mm-hmm. I'm tired. Her girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. And sooner or later they're gonna hurt someone you love. Am I talking to you? Yikes. Look, haven't I done enough for you? Didn't uh, I save your fucking life? Doesn't matter what we do. Nothing changes. And I'm tired. I will say, as much as like Maeve's pessimistic mindset to this whole situation, it's really good to have uh, a perspective like this one that is different from like Huey and Starlight. She just she's taking just a really more realistic <laughs> approach of things, not a very like hopeful one. Which I don't know. I don't blame her, but it, I think it's good to even if you know people like even if she's in the wrong in the situation, but it's good to have reality in all of this and understand the risks that are made to do this kind of thing. So I'm not mad at Maeve right now for the way she's the way she's arguing with Starlight and Huey about this because honestly it 
Like, is will it actually get better? It's gonna. It's a long, long, tired road ahead of them. The this battle that they're trying to win, and um, I mean, I'm still room for the boys, like all the way. Even a glimpse of hope, and I'm like, yeah. But I understand where Maeve is coming from, and it's a lot to risk uh, to try to do the right thing at the moment. So, take your fucking twink and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> He's like, and I took that personally. <laughs> really, really, really. They took him. Damn, Ryan. Yes. Okay. They're back together. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm well, excited. Can't exactly be seen with you at the tower. Can I? Fresh gone? No, thank you. Awful stuff. Well, now I don't feel excited for drinking it. What about day drink? You do need a speedster since shockwave exploded. Harder so. Ooh. One has been back is redemption. Two is weakness. Mm. Stormfront has problems with him. And at the moment, I have to indulge her. What's your problem with A-Train? Oh. <gasps> A-Train. Oh, sh He heard of that about, about Stormfront. Oh, okay. no. Yeah. We've heard a lot about you. <laughs> They're all just surrounding her. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. Aww. Are you all close with Bowie? Yeah. I mean, sure. <laughs> you stay here. Rest up. I'm gonna go do a little digging. Hey, Billy, okay? I have no right to ask you to help me after what I said to you, Look, but... don't you worry. Aww. I will find your son. That's so cute. The way, like, how Billy looks at only her... It's great acting, but damn. What's his name? William Butcher. Oh, <laughs> what? You're giving yourself homework. Well, mom says that learning is a gift, so. Mm -hmm. Aww. That mom of yours, she sure does have some <laughs> cute little sayings. <laughs> Do you think maybe I could call her? I would feel lonely too if I was cooped up all day by myself in this West Elm Death Star. <laughs> mm -hmm. How about we take a field trip? What do you say, Dad? What was the point of taking him here if they're just gonna like stick him in bot the entire time? Is this bot land? Oh, planet bot. Holy shit! <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> I love you. Can I get a selfie? Sure. Selfie? Uh oh. Oh, he doesn't like this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I understand. He's like overstimulated because he's like literally only knows his mom, right? Like he's not used to so many like crowds of people around him. So maybe that's what that is. Oh, I'm an asshole for bitching about my mom when yours is. My mom's not dead. She's not? Huh? Oh, it's just you never mentioned her, so... She left when I was six. Oh. Wow. Ugh. That's where Billy Joel comes from. <gasps> Aww. She and I, we used to have these dance parties. She was, she was fun. And uh, then one day she just left and never called again. Not even that doesn't her. make sense. Oh, my God. I, I don't want to be like her. Oh my god, Huey. You're not like her, okay? You're fine. Being dependable and being someone that- Some should burn. <gasps> oh, shit. How did he do that? Oh yeah, he can like open the door. <laughs> he's helping them. Even now, bitch. <laughs> nice, he's helping them. You mentioned on the phone that you can help with homework for son. I'm not sure what you mean. That boy is your only possible contingency against home. Homelander's a friend. Why would I betray him? Because you're a ruthless bastard. Touche. <laughs> the piece of heard the remain secret, but we play with the cards we're dealt. It's not ruthless. It's prices per share. That's all. Mm. You should say. So it's just business. When, Mr. Butcher, in history, has it ever been about anything different? When I got him, I'll call your people. They zero in on this so significant. 
Then come and scoop him up. I will get Rebecca and Ryan somewhere safe. No. Not Becca. Becca stays with me. But uh -oh. that's the whole point. That he's raised by his mother. I'm taking my wife back. That's the deal. Uh-oh. And what happens when Rebecca shows up at my doorstep begging to be reunited with her boy? No, Butcher, don't do it. You tell me where he is, and I'll do the rest. Um, Butcher. That's very selfish. What? What is this place? There are just so many people. Hmm. I remember the first time I was in a crowd. Probably didn't bother you. I'm terrified. People staring at me and reaching out trying to grab me, egging me on to use my powers. I just felt like I was drowning. Well, what'd you do? I took off. They found me 80 miles down the I-9, crying my little eyes out. Hmm. Hmm. Well, cry? Yes. But I'm a man, so not in a long while. But who knows, maybe... Uh, <laughs> Jesus. I love you. This wasn't, like, a that bad of a conversation between the two, actually. Hey, did you find anything? Got him in a cabin up in Rochester. I mean, Beck. She's really great. She's you're really you're great. All right, easy tiger. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's get a shift on. Oh my God! Here we go. You ain't coming with us. Well, bullshit. Ryan doesn't know you. He'll never come to you. It's too dangerous, and I ain't gonna lose you. He's again. my son, and I'm coming. Uh oh, little hitch in the plan there. I need you to promise me that you will save him no matter what, and you will get him back to me. Uh oh. Yeah, of course. He realized this isn't just about me, right? Like he he can't grow up like Homelander. You have to think of all of the people out there that you would. He's not going to think that. Swear to me, then. You swear to me on your brother's soul. Oh. I don't put uh, butcher. Maybe he will in the end. Freeze. Is there's one thing I know is that you can take care of yourself. Ooh. So when the time comes, you'll know what to do. Uh, I think Kimiko needs to make like the last blow on Stormfront. Doesn't have to be in the finale, but for redemption for her brother. Well, sometimes it helps to imagine someone you hate. Okay. Uh, okay. But I don't really hate anyone. Oh, well, that is very sweet, Ryan. It's not something we can afford. We're under attack. We are? Bad guys want to hurt us just because of what we look like. They want to wipe us from this earth just because of the color of our skin. What the f- Really? <laughs> no! It's called white genocide. And we're gonna need to here to protect our kind. Hmm. All right. Homelander's Let's like, it. well, go imagine. Be uh, fucking kidding me. What? Uh oh, she's been exposed. What? It's everywhere. She's on the move. Uh oh. I see it, Frenchie. We gotta go now. You close? One moment, mon ami. Concerning Stormfront and alleged. Hitler. What's even more incredible, we have authenticated photos showing Stormfront with Nazi high command. Oh, it's, uh, Was she part of the attack? Oh, oh it's happening to him too. Oh, this is getting good. This is getting good. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're taking him. They're taking him. They're taking him. Good, good, good. Good, 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 butcher. Don't. Good. What the fuck? What's going on? What's wrong? I swore on Lenny's life. Oh my god. Getting both to Mallory. Getting both safe. 
no, that's not part of the plan. The plan just changed. Ooh. What's happening? No. MM's gonna take you to a woman with the CIA. What? No, you have to come with us. I cut a deal with Stan Edgar. This is it. What? I cut a deal that when I got Ryan, that I would call Vought, they were gonna come and take him away, and that you'd never fucking see him again. <laughs> but plans changed. I couldn't do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Butcher! You hear? And Homelander's here. Say Butcher. What's going on? Oh, oh, oh. oh no. This is so bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. Where's my son? <laughs> oh my god, it's really happening. She's really going. Are they okay? Is MM okay? Oh, thank f God. Okay, they're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. What about the kid? Is Ryan okay? He's he's a soup, so he'll he'll be a okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seems fine. What is the truth? Don't freeze, Kimiko. You got this. She's smiling. Oh my God, that's gonna so scary. She's laughing. At. Oh, I thought she was gonna talk. I got goosebumps. She says the truth is, she's gonna stick her boot up your Nazi kitty. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, Huey, stay the. Okay, good. Frenchie, here we go. That's not good. <gasps> Ooh. Wait! She broke her neck, but Kimiko can come back from the dead, right? That's like one of her things. Because Black Noir killed her. Bulletproof. Oh no! Ugh. Hey, Kraut. <gasps> Let's go! Oh my god, yep. Oh my god, we actually get to see Maeve actually fighting. <gasps> it's just a punching party. Alright, this is girl power right here. This is what this means. <laughs> the guys are just watching. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> she actually ran! Can handle it. Walk away from my son. We love you, Ryan. <laughs> she just stabbed Bitch. <laughs> stop it! Stop it, please! Yo! Stop it. No. No. No way. Oh, 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 Ryan. Homelanders, before we even check this, Homelander could not pierce through Stormfront with his beams. Will it be the same with his son? <gasps> I'm shot in the eye and I'm in absolute balance. You promise that you keep him safe. No fing way. Uh, 
Homelander's probably going to show up. See that Becca's dead. His son's crying. His girlfriend is torched. And Butcher's just going to be served on a silver platter for him. Can't believe that. Butcher, don't. Don't. No. No. Homelander's going to come and save his son, probably. Butcher. Yep. <sighs> we have indeed taken part on Luske from you. Did you do this? I didn't mean to. Let's go. What's. What is he doing? Where's Butcher? Did Butcher run? run. Is he gonna. Is Ryan going to Butcher? Run. Is Ryan going to choose Butcher? Come here. No way! I'm literally- I'm crying. Why? Are you gonna blow yourself up to save that little shit that fucking murdered your wife? I promise. Oh, thank God. Have it your way. Stop. What are you doing here? You're gonna let them go. <laughs> what if I don't? You're gonna stop hunting Starlight. You're gonna leave me and Elena alone, or I release this. Oh, he still cares about that. I'll destroy everything and everyone. Great. As long as everyone sees what a fucking monster you are. As long as no one ever loves you again. Oh man, he really does have this weird complex with the, the love of the public needing to be loved. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, it's so creepy. Oh my god. Holy. We believe that Stormfront was a sole perpetrator of the attack on Washington. <laughs> the release of Compound B has been placed. Starlet. She is side eyeing so hard right now. Thanks to the heroism of Queen Maeve and Starlight, Stormfront has been neutralized. Who's gonna I join would Seven? I'd like to apologize to Starlight, who was wrongfully accused of sabotage and conspiracy. Nice. Welcome back to the team. And I know that you and Maeve are two of the best, most loyal friends that I could ever have. <laughs> Yo, this is so crazy. Look at those crazy eyes! They're gonna start getting back into the narrative. Atrium is kind of a G in this moment. Not gonna lie, he came in clutch. Someone broke in and stole PDR from Stormfront. Hmm. You come and go. Isn't that right, Atrium? That was you, dude. I didn't know, sir. Fuck him. I would never go behind you. <laughs> Please, just let the me deep. See. I think it showed initiative. Stormfront's been critical of the church for a long time, and Bot needs to take a firm anti-Nazi stance right now. Does that mean... I just spoke with Stan Edgar. He's back, back in. in. Fuck yeah! What? Yeah! Yeah, they train is back, baby! <laughs> the deep. Yeah! Immediately yeah! tries to throw him under the bus. Right. I'm back too, right? Right? I'm anti-Nazi. I'm sorry, Deep, but they only had one slot. One hero is redemption, two is... Oh you. my yes, god. I, I, I did everything you asked. And when I found out that we're all just fucking space boars, I didn't laugh. I did everything you asked. <laughs> because you said you'd get me back in the seven, you fucking promised. I'm sorry, Deep, but you are acting like a toxic personality. I think you should leave. Damn. I know. I know. But if Billy Butcher can do the right thing, then. Miracles. Some <laughs> kind of higher power. Are you sure it's safe for you to go back into the tower? No. If you jump ship and you let the asshole steer, then you're part of the problem. <gasps> Yo. Nice. Maybe I am too clingy. No, you're not. Sticking with people just because I'm terrified of losing them. I, I, hmm. I can't do that anymore. Is he breaking up with her? We'll just be friends then. 
Oh, oh God, no, no, I'm not playing <laughs> on you. I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> Is he talking about the boys though? He's not gonna leave the boys. I'm scared. This is so weird. <gasps> no way. Messiah, it belongs to you, Mom. This is Saint Christopher. She gave it to me a long time ago. And told me it will keep me safe in her hands. Now your mum is gonna help keep you safe. Aww, Valerie. Dude, this is crazy. I'm getting emotional again. Why did Becca have to die? That made me so angry. Remember what I told you. Don't be a cunt. What the hell, dude? Boy's gonna want him back. Let me handle Mom. Interesting. So now Becca is gone. And now Butcher needs a reason to stay with the boys. Gotta protect her, her son. All the charges against you and the boys have been dropped, even for the crimes you did commit. You're a free man. And the White House is opening an office of Soup Affairs. Victoria Newman is the new czar. She's sneaking me some off-the-books funding for a team that can keep tabs on the soups. If you're interested. Oh, interesting. The Beatles. Ooh, definitely getting copyrighted. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> Congratulations on the appointment, Congresswoman. It's about the Fresca. An office of soup affairs. Well, I know it was your intel that took Stormfront down, so thank you. Yeah, and that's just the start. We have enough dirt to ruin a dozen soups. Well, my office set up a meeting. You are one of the good ones. Why do I feel like he's gonna blow up? I knew it! <laughs> Wait. Here's the research you asked for. Thank you. And your two o'clock is waiting. Thank you. What the Thank hell? You. I don't know how to repay you for what you did. Why is she entertaining you the boys? You can give me a job. Uh, what about your... Team. Don't get me wrong, I, I, I still want to fight Vought, I just, I want to do it the right way. Not covered in quite as many guts. I think it's time I stand on my own two feet. Well, you have got to be kidding me. Okay, I'm about to do like the quickest recap that I can. A train's back in the seven, the deep isn't, and he's pissed about it. The the leader of the cult thing that, that the deep was part of, he got blown to smithereens. The congresswoman is the one blowing up the heads. I feel like she has, hold on. I'll get to my theories here in a second, sorry. Um, what else do we have? Becca is dead, Butcher has the kid, Stormfront is dead, Starlight is back in the seven as well. Black Noir seems to be okay. Took a pretty hard hit when it came to the nut allergy, but I think he's fine. Well, the kid isn't with Butcher anymore. The kid's with Mallory and like the CIA. Butcher, I don't know what Butcher is doing. He's he's like, I guess, still on a mission to try to protect his protect Becca's kid for good. So he's probably still gonna scheme some things. And Mem is back with his family. Huey is now going to start working for the Congresswoman. We will get to her in a second. Edgar is still chill about everything. Homelander is a mess. He has a son taken away from him. Stormfront's dead. Becca's dead. Uh, yeah, he's just, he has like literally no power. Maeve can finally own her. Own her backs same with starlight so crazy speaking of Maeve literally helping out the boys and finally standing up for herself against Homelander so freaking cool uh what else do we have Huey is yeah Huey's working for the congresswoman now he's standing on his own team feet he want two feet he's standing on his own two feet he wants to uh fight Vought in the right way I guess but this congresswoman what the hell okay Here's my thoughts on this. This is my theory going into season three. This is my theory going into season three. I think that this Congresswoman and Edgar are still working together. I still think this is Edgar's like grand plan. It was um, Butcher kind of got the hint of that 
this this episode. So I think I don't know why I don't know what her deal is to entertain the boys and like Mallory when it comes to all this stuff and why is I don't understand like her whole identity like maybe just to stay under the radar and be able to keep tabs on the other side is my guess on like why she's playing the role that she is. I'm just very confused or maybe she is still fighting Vought but like in her own way because I know that Edgar and um the guy that the um runs the the collective we're making deals together maybe she is still fighting maybe she is still against Vought but I feel like I feel like right now she's still like she's the eyes and ears of Edgar and being able to be on the other side of things and have connections and work with like the people that are against Vought is, and like having that role is like probably like one of the most ingenious plans because then you like know everything on both sides of all times and being able to like work with those that oppose you without even knowing but again it could be like maybe she is just like in secret a soup that it wants to destroy Vought but she did blow up the head of the CIA lady which would be in favor of Vought because it seemed like they're getting close to like this actual like grand scheme that Vought is cooking up it's been cooking it's been grilling um so yeah i definitely think this, this congresswoman is working very closely with edgar on something else something more important something homelander had no idea about and i guess stormfront too i thought stormfront had a lot more bigger part in edgar's plan but at the same time she is a racist and edgar is not white so <laughs> at the end of the day why would he confide her in like anything uh, but other than like being useful for his own, you know, his own plans, but interesting. So this Congresswoman, it's, it's, it's cool. Like how this show depicted her all the way up to this moment, you know, we see her on the screens talking about bot and then we slowly start to see her in live pep rallies and then she's starting to be seen actually conversing with people and then meeting homelander face to face and then working with mallory working with butcher working with the boys doing all of this huey's coming up to her and trust her uh she's seen at you know she's she's there she's always there lurking and now we know why she's always been here since the beginning so it makes me want to like go back and see if she's like even in season one if she's in the background at all like seeing what's happening orchestrating anything probably not i think she was introduced in season two but god this is crazy i feel like i've just been backstabbed like from five different characters in this season um but no it was a great one a lot of people are saying that it wasn't as like act it's not like as action-packed as like the first season but i thought like it was still like equally as crazy and wild and insane they were throwing some you know comedy in there as well i thought overall like the season was better than the first and and i say that i say better loosely because i thought season one was great i just think like the characters i think like season one was great to introduce the characters and like the heaviness of the world and soups and bot and now like they're able to expand on the characters that we already know in season two. So there was like a lot of character building and um, you know, a lot of backstory, a lot of like really powerful dialogue being told, a lot of parallels to our real world uh, when it comes to like politics and everything. Not really gonna hold a stand on like a certain political party or anything, but there was just a lot of um, dialogue and stuff that mirrors how we, uh, work in society today but instead involving like the element of superheroes so that was it, it's like really interesting to see like them do that kind of stuff so it's it's such a surreal thing to see some people like to see people so powerful yet so flawed at the same time just being would be normal people on the street that you see in your day to day but the fact that they just can be invincible bulletproof fly be faster than speed the speed of light uh and it just like you have to understand they are so, like such flawed people you're just giving people that are <laughs> 
just normal people these powers and the, there's no like this divine moment of how you know they're gonna think of the greater good they're always going to be selfish they're that like they're just it's just plain humanity with an advantage and seeing like how effed up humanity would be in real life <laughs> if they were given the chance to be more powerful than another person and we see that so much in the show. Homelander seemed like the scariest thing in season two, and it seems like he's really getting his ass handed to him in, or in season one, sorry. He seemed really scary and powerful and whatever in season one, but he was really getting his ass handled in season two, like at every turn, every time he tried to, you know, make a power move against someone or something. It just, he was being put right back in his place. It didn't matter who. It was literal people that he had the power to disintegrate with his eye beams and they were able to, you know, get one on him. And yeah, so I, it, it's crazy. Cause like once that facade of like fear is taken away, you see like the man child that Homelander really is. Um, and you know, talking about Maeve's uh, growth in this too, her, a lot of her growth really didn't happen in the actual like the main plot a lot of it happened through side stories with her girlfriend um and things that didn't really involve moving the story along even with like how little uh screen time she might have had with like her ex-girlfriend whatever girlfriend uh that she's with right now and her way of like dealing with things and just her coming full circle and being able to be there to save people and be a true hero and do the right thing at the end of season two was just really cool. So I'm excited to see more of this maze, you know, where she's not scared for her life and for her loved one's lives and, and freely able to be the person that she wants to be. So that's pretty cool. But this Congresswoman, man, I'm, I'm nervous. We'll, we'll have to see on that. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Awesome season. Season two was great. Loved every second of it. And of course, the cliffhangers that they leave you with to uh, get you excited for season three definitely worked. So I might jump into it tonight. <laughs> In real time, I'll probably just keep watching. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna end this video here. So if you liked it, make sure to give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. If you want to watch this video full length, unedited, my Patreon link is in the description below, tiers 2 and 3, as well as early access to more uh, of the boys' reactions, of season 3 reactions, so definitely check that out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!